Well, what's up with you? All right, man, I got a question from a guy the other day, and he was asking me how to get out of the friend zone and what's the number one killer of attraction. Okay, first of all, you have to understand why you are in her friend zone. All right, frankly put, she sees herself as higher value than you. She feels like she can do better. Basically, you don't qualify. She's saying that you are not on my level. It's something about you that just don't do it for me. Now, fellas, think about this. Well, okay, I don't know how many of y'all got women in y'all friend zone, so I just use myself as an example. I have about eight women in the friend zone right now at this exact moment. And when they call and I answer the phone, they be saying a little stupid shit. Like, hey, baby daddy. Hey, you sexy thing. Hey, sexy chocolate. And I just laugh at that shit, man. Because even though it's flattering, no cap, it goes in one ear and out the other. I feel nothing. It doesn't raise my attraction towards them. It doesn't lower it. I feel nothing. I know that there's something about those women that I just can't rock with. They just don't do it for me, but I'm going to keep that to myself. And see, fellas, if y'all can truly understand that, then you should be able to understand why she's got you in the friend zone. Hell, why women got so many men in the friend zone. It ain't just you. Ain't nothing wrong with you. You cool. But understand this, guys. By accepting being in her friend zone subconsciously, you're letting a woman know that you are lower value than her, which is the number one killer of attraction. It's like I said earlier about my friend zone chicks. When I call them, they pick up the phone on the first ring. It's like, Ring, hey, what's up, sexy? Hey, baby daddy. You, you, you see what I'm saying? See, by them doing that, they are showing me that they view me as higher value than them. I'm the prize in their eyes. And so in turn, that kills my attraction for them. It's the same way with women. We do this subconsciously with women all the time, and we don't even know we're doing it. But but I'm going to say this. First and foremost, the best way to conquer all of this is to not be lower value. Now, understand what I'm saying. You should go in feeling like you are equal. Everything is 50-50. We are on an even playing field. You deserve her just as much as she deserves you. Don't put her ass on a pedestal as soon as y'all meet and start giving her free validation and compliments out the ass. Like, I like your hair. I like your clothes. I like your shoes. I like your fingernails. I like your toenails. I like your earrings. I like your bracelet. I like your eyeballs. Man, man please. Can, can. Can I get your number? Can I take you out to dinner? Can I be your man? Hey, wifey, when we getting married? Man, cut that bullshit out. Stop that shit. Hell, I just saw one of my boys do that shit the other day, man, when we went to uh, Buffalo Wild Wings. His ass was just laying it on thick and didn't get a damn thing in return. Again, that is the number one killer of attraction. And now I've been trying to tell this silly, thirsty ass uh, that even if she gives you the number and shows you low interest and puts you in a friend zone, that that is not good. All right, understand, this is the reason why the friend zone shows her that you are lower value. That you have basically accepted that you are not good enough. And so you're going to sneak your way in the back door 
and try to get her to like you by going the nice guy route. Basically, you saying, please, your highness, pick me. Let me show you that I'm worthy of the magical Thundercat, the golden box. <laughs> but anyway, let me say this. Full disclosure. Y'all can get out the friend zone. You say infamous how? Well, I'm glad you asked. Number one, level up. Sex appeal, pre-selection. Hit the gym. Dress better. Get a skincare routine. Do things to physically improve your appearance. Women will notice, I promise you. I know this is going to sound small, but keep your shoes clean. Keep your fingernails clean. All right, another way, improve your finances, make more money, get your own place, keep your car clean. Again, whatever that woman's hang up about you is, improve that or change that if you can. If it's your height, then there's nothing you can do about that. But if it's your weight, then we can control our weight. Now, most of us guys are in the friend zone for one reason or another. Well, maybe she just doesn't find you attractive enough. Well, pre-selection kills that. Pre-selection kills all attraction issues. Okay, maybe you don't have enough money. Get on your purpose and start making more money. And see if she's a woman that's really big on financial security, then that'll take care of that. And as long as you understand that pre-selection makes any man more attractive, then you'll be fine. Hell, I done got out the friend zone five times by doing what I said earlier. And I done smashed four of them. So it works, I promise you. So any of you guys can get out the friend zone. And now I give you another way you can get out of the friend zone, guys. Time and opportunity. If you are in the friend zone and you catch her at the right time when she's going through an emotional breakup, you can get her. And, and see what I mean is if she go through enough scumbags and losers and get her heart broke about two or three times in a row. Well, then that nice guy that's in the friend zone start looking real good. It's called time and opportunity. Right place at the right time. Now, let me say this. I don't want none of you guys to go that route. If a woman isn't ready to get with you after you done made your play for, her, let her go. Now, on the flip side, if you haven't even made your real move and she rejected you, and you went straight into the friend zone off gate, then you have subconsciously admitted to yourself that you are lower value. She didn't even have to do it. You, you already said, you know what? I know I'm lower value, so I'm not even going to try. I, I just want to be her friend so I can smell her from time to time. Hell, that's even worse. At least a guy... That, that shot his shot and got rejected, at least he thought he was on her level. The guy that doesn't even try is just saying, I know that I'm not, that I'm not in your league. I know that I'm not worthy. That, that That's even worse, man. So any of you guys that are in the friend zone right now with a girl and you haven't even made your move, that's even worse than the guy that got rejected. And see, that's why, that's the main reason why I believe in cold approaching because I would rather see a fine little shooby dooby approach her, shoot my shot, get rejected to my face rather than just sit on the sideline and stare at her and daydream and fantasize about me and her walking along the beach with uh, sand all in our toes, holding hands and shit. Nope, that ain't me. If you don't shoot, you don't score. But anyway. Back to it, remember, anytime you approach a woman and you shoot your shot and she's single and she rejects you, basically she's saying that you're not good enough. She's saying that I think I can do better. You ain't it. 
All right, later.